Hi, I am Shorty Biscuit and welcome back to my channel. A few days ago, I ordered this EcoFlow 100 watt solar panel and I expected it to come next week. Unfortunately or happily, it arrived early. So where I'm going to put it is not ready for me to put it yet, but I am going to open it up because I am excited to see it work and we have a nice sunny day out here. I brought along all of my solar panel cables with me so I will see how easily it connects to those panels. There is instructions in the box and the panel. So it's a pretty nice panel. It isn't too heavy. I'd say it's under 10 pounds but I guess we'll see. In the back, it just has an MC4 setup, so I will have to get the MC4 to XC60i connector to connect it to my River 2 Pro. Let's get it connected. Since this is not a portable panel, it does not have its own stand, and so I'm going to be using the EcoFlow cart to kind of prop it up today. Um, these cable, the MC4 to XT60i cable came with my 220 watt panel. This panel does not come with any other cables other than the MC4 that is built into the back. Okay, I'm gonna leave this side over here since it's closer to the power station. And I'm going to plug that in to the back here of the River 2 Pro and let's see what we're getting. I also have the solar panel angle finder and that should help me put this at the proper angle. Okay, look, off the bat without making any adjustments to the angle of the solar panel, I'm already getting 86 watts of input. Let's see if I can try to get a better angle with the angle finder. Using the angle finder, I adjusted it so that it's pointed basically straight up at the sun and I am getting a pretty decent input <laughs> of 96 watts. So from the app, I can see exactly what the input is. And this is uh, truly, truly amazing. Even my other panel that I have built into my car, which is 100 watt, does not get anywhere near 100 watts. I have a setup here so I can work here during the day as long as I have internet and keep powered. This is pretty darn good.